Do you feel powerless in your life? Well, in this video, I'm going to summarize one of the most life-changing books ever written, Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins. Welcome to the Peak Performance Channel, the place where you come to be inspired to create a more prosperous future. Unlimited Power Self-help guru Tony Robbins lays out a step-by-step -step guide to achieving success in all areas of life. Robbins believes that the key to success is harnessing the power of the mind. He teaches readers how to overcome negative thoughts and develop a positive mindset. He also provides strategies for setting and achieving goals, managing time effectively, and building personal and professional relationships. Throughout the book, he provides readers with a number of exercises and tools that they can use to achieve their goals. Unlimited power is an inspiring and practical guide that can help readers achieve success in all areas of their lives. If you enjoy what you've heard so far, without further ado, I present to you the book summary of Unlimited Power. Chapter 1. The Commodity of Kings The Commodity of Kings discusses the importance of having power. He defines power as the ability to produce an effect. Robbins argues that power is the most important commodity in the world because it's what allows us to get what we want. Without power, we are at the mercy of those who have it. Tony Robbins goes on to say that there are two types of power, personal power and positional power. Personal power is the power we have over ourselves. And it's the most important type of power because it's the only kind of power we can always count on. Positional power is a power we have based on our position in life. And it's not as reliable because it can be taken away from us. Robbins concludes by saying that the key to success is to increase our personal power so that we can always achieve our goals. The commodity of kings makes a compelling case that the ability to control one's own emotions is the most important commodity anyone can possess. He points out that emotions are contagious and that those who can keep their cool under pressure are in a much better position to influence the emotions of others. This is especially true in the business world, where the ability to make decisions quickly and calmly can be the difference between success and failure. However, Robbins goes even further, arguing that emotional intelligence is not just about making money or being successful in business. He argues that it is essential for achieving any kind of personal fulfillment. In other words, Robbins believes that emotional intelligence is the key to unlocking unlimited power. Chapter 2 The Difference That Makes a Difference In this chapter, Robbins argues that the things that make the biggest difference in our lives are usually the things that seem small. He gives the example of a person who wants to lose weight. They might think that going to the gym for an hour every day is what will make the difference. However, Robbins argues that the real difference maker is what we do when we're not at the gym. Eating healthy foods, getting enough sleep is much more important than working out. Similarly, in our careers, it's often the small things that we do consistently that make the biggest difference. Showing up on time, being polite to customers and taking pride in our work are all habits that can pay off in a big way. So next time you're looking to make a change in your life, don't overlook the small things. They might just be the difference that makes a difference. Chapter 3. The Power of State In Chapter 3 of Unlimited Power, Tony Robbins explains the concept of state State refers to the emotional state that we're in at any given moment, and it plays a big role in how we experience life. When we're in a positive state, we're more likely to feel happy, motivated and focused. On the other hand, when we're in a negative state, we may feel stressed, anxious or angry. The good news is that we have the power to choose our state. By deliberately putting ourselves in a positive state, we can change our entire outlook on life. In Chapter 3, Tony Robbins provides readers with powerful tools for changing their state. These include things like breathing exercises, affirmations and visualisation. 
While some of these techniques may seem simple, Robbins contends that they can have a profound impact on the quality of your life. By learning to control your state, you can develop unlimited power over your thoughts, emotions and actions. Time for a quick reminder before we continue, make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe and notification button if you haven't already done so, as it means that YouTube sends you more of these kinds of videos and it helps our channel as well. Now let's get back to the video. Chapter 4 The Birth of Excellence Belief Robbins discusses the importance of having faith in oneself and one's abilities. He argues that without belief, it's impossible to achieve anything of significance. Belief provides a foundation on which all other success is built. It gives us a courage to take risks, pursue our dreams and persevere when things get tough. Without belief, we are limited to living mediocre lives. Tony Robbins encourages his readers to adopt a belief system that will empower them to reach their full potential and create the life they want. By doing so, they'll be able to tap into an unlimited power within themselves that will enable them to achieve anything they desire. Tony Robbins argues that all human beings have the same potential for greatness, but it's our beliefs that determine whether or not we reach our full potential. He claims that the key to excellence is to find something that we believe in so strongly that we're willing to dedicate our lives to it. Once we find something worth fighting for, he says, we can achieve anything. This principle is at the heart of many great achievements, from medical breakthroughs to world-changing inventions. It's also what allows us to overcome incredible obstacles and achieve things that others thought were impossible. If we want to achieve excellence, we must first find something worth believing in. Chapter 5 The Seven Lives of Success In Chapter 5 of Tony Robbins' book Unlimited Power, the author discusses the seven lives of success. In this chapter, Robbins argues that there are seven key areas in which successful people tend to focus their attention. Belief number one, everything happens for a reason and has a purpose. Belief in limits results in limited people. Belief number two, there are only results from what we do. There is no such thing as failure. There is no sadder sight than a young pessimist, said Mark Twain. Our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we often might win by fearing to attempt. William Shakespeare Whatever humans have learned had to be learned as a consequence through mistakes. Buckminster Fuller Belief number three Accept responsibility for whatever happens. Belief number four Understanding everything isn't required in order to use everything. Belief number five People are your most valuable resource. A man alone, no matter how bright, will struggle to match the combined talents of a successful team. Belief number six, work can be enjoyable. The secret of success is making your vocation your vocation. Mark Twain. Belief number seven, without dedication, there can be no long-term success. Know what you want, model what works, take action. Build sensory acuity to know what you're receiving and keep improving it until you have it. The difference between good and great is the level of commitment. Well, that's all. By following these principles from the book, we can ultimately achieve unlimited power and success in life. Thank you for being all ears throughout the entire video. To create his effort, to copy is genius. Albert Einstein. If you want to expand your income by building an online income, feel free to contact me so we'll get things moving right away. Remember, if you want to change your life, let's make a change together. You need to make a change.